Welcome to the second in a series of videos on how to use OneFile. My name is Michael Warby and I'm a skills and development coach here at First Intuition. Now in this second video we'll look at how to change your password and update your profile details. Now it's really important that you protect your OneFile account access by having a robust password and OneFile will prompt you on the minimum requirements for a robust password. Equally, it's important to keep your profile details up to date to ensure that you can be contacted with any important information or activity on your OneFile account. So let's now look at how you can access your profile. Now, for this demonstration, I'm going to be using my own profile, uh, so there will be a slight difference in the view compared to what you can see on your screen, but the key elements will be just the same. So if we go to the top right hand side and click on our name, uh, this will take us through to the pop-up box and then we select profile. We then are taken through to the profile section of OneFile. So you can see a number of tabs uh, at the top. We have my profile, email preferences, my activity, privacy and public profile. So we'll just go through each of these in turn. To start with, on my profile, you can see that there's an opportunity to upload a profile picture. Now, you can do this uh, by uploading a profile picture from a photo that's stored on your laptop. And I would strongly recommend that you do add a profile picture. This really helps your skills and development coach connect uh, the information on the account to you. Uh, we look after a large number of apprentices at any one time and having uh, the pictures of the apprentices on one file really helps us to make sure that we're uh, working with the right profile. Next, you can see this space for you to add your telephone details. Now, this might be pre-populated by information that you've given us before joining the program, but this is an opportunity to make sure that you have the correct numbers uh, stored on one file. My recommendation is that you use your work telephone number and your work mobile number as your main contact details. The rest of this section really uh, in terms of profile is, is not necessary, but I just want to draw your attention as well to this section down here where you can see change password. And this is where you can change your password from the one that you were given in your email to one that you can remember. So how to change your password? Well first you click on change my password and it'll take you to a prompt screen which should be pretty familiar to you. You're asked to enter your old password, and this will be the password that you were given in the email from your skills and development coach. And then, of course, you have a chance to enter your new password, and you must retype it to confirm it. Note the uh, requirements of one file, that your password has to be between 10 and 128 characters in length. How you'd remember 128 characters, I have no idea, but certainly more than 10, and they must contain at least one digit. Once you've entered in your old password and your new one, then you can click on save and that should update your password. I'm going to cancel this now and let's go back to the main profile page so I can show you the rest of the profile. Now it's important to know, and I will say this through each of the videos, that whenever you make a change on one file, you should scroll to the bottom of the screen and make sure you save any changes. That will ensure that OneFile records the changes that you make. If you go back to a different screen or press cancel, then the changes may not necessarily be recorded. So it's really important to click save uh, every time you make a change on OneFile. The next tab is email preferences, so let's click on that and take a quick look. Now as you can see here, I have a couple of email addresses uh, attached to this particular profile. And again, you may find that your email address has already been populated in your account. I would recommend that it's your work email address that you select as your primary email address for OneFile. And that will ensure that any notifications and alerts you receive from OneFile will go to your work email address. Now, if your current email address in your account is a personal email address, then go ahead and add a new email to OneFile. So I'll show you how to do this. You can see the button here that says add new email, you just click on that. It'll take you through to this pop-up screen where you enter in your email. I'm just going to type in michael at me.com and then you would press add to add that email to your account. If it's the work email address that you're adding, you would then select that as your primary email address. 
Don't forget when you make that change to click Save. You also have the functionality with one file to change the frequency with which you get alerts about activity on your account. So you can have ad hoc alerts sent to you every time there's activity on your OneFile account, but you might find that a little overwhelming, in which case I would recommend that you then select a daily digest. And this then collates all of the different activities on your OneFile account and sends you a report on a frequent basis. And it's down to you to decide how frequently you want this. You can have it set for each day of the week, or in this case, set for just Friday. Uh, and make sure that then you just check your emails on Friday and review to see what activity there's been on your account. You might wish to change this depending on the point in which you are in the program and how much activity there is going on in your OneFile account. You can also change here uh, the notifications that you receive depending on the content uh, that is being generated by your account. But I would recommend that you keep all of these selected. If we now move on to the My Activity tab, you can see that this provides a history of all the activity on your OneFile account. So if you're ever uncertain as to whether or not an activity has happened in your OneFile account, you can go here to look at the history of all of the activities on your account. In reality, you probably won't need to use this functionality very often, but it's there just in case you need it. The next tab is the Privacy tab. And this is where you can set certain privacy requirements in terms of sharing analytics with developers. And then finally, you have your public profile. And this is really more just for information, showing how other users would see your profile on OneFile. That concludes this section on changing your password and navigating your way around your profile and making changes to your profile. It's really important to make sure that your profile is always kept up to date. So do remember that if you change your uh, contact details at any time, that you should go into OneFile and update them accordingly. If you're happy with how to change your password and how to change your profile, then move on to the next video, where we'll look at uploading and submitting a development task. If you have any queries about changing your password or changing your profile details, please contact your skills and development coach. Thank you for watching.